Oko in everything. What's up, my friends? Welcome. I am Davis here on another video on CoolStuffInc.com. And if you saw my article last Friday, it's kind of a fun, slightly satirical piece where I um, talked about one neat trick to make your modern deck better. And that trick, of course, was to just add Oko Thief of Crowns. And it was a bunch of deck lists, um, which all had Oko in them, ranging from decks that were actually real decks that are playing Oko uh, to putting Oko in like goblins and affinity and things like that. Kind of a fun satirical article, but there was some hidden truth behind it, as there is with most satire, where Oko is just infesting the modern format. Oko is finding its way into almost every deck in some way, shape, or form. And while some decks it just slides in perfectly, other decks need to sort of adapt a little bit to make Oko part of their primary focus. And we have one of those decks here right now, basically, uh, I don't want to say brand new deck in the format, but Something definitely new overall and very interesting. Oko makes its way into Valakit, but Valakit and a lot of mountains don't play very well with Oko. So Oko changes Valakit from a Valakit the Molten Pinnacle deck into a Field of the Dead deck. Now, of course, the Valakit deck, uh, Titan Shift, it's often referred, a deck based around Primeval Titan and just getting it in play as soon as possible, getting Valakits and killing your opponent. Similar sort of idea here. You know, we were playing playing Titans. Uh, we were playing Skirt Tribelder. We were playing Summoner's Pact to get our Titans. Um, but taking a somewhat different path as well, where instead of getting Valakits and dealing damage to our opponent to kill them, we're just getting Field of the Dead and making zombies after zombies after zombies to kill our opponent that way. And Oko sort of opens the door for that because Oko does a great job of dealing with most things. You know, any good creature your opponent can play is now a 3-3, which obviously lines up pretty poorly against a bunch of 2-2s. Uh, no evasion, no flying, no trample. All those things are out the window uh, as far as Oko is concerned. So this deck gets to maximize the power of Oko, the ability to play it on turn 2, thanks to a Boreal Grazer. And also to get to play an insane late game with Titans and Field of the Deads. And it's funny, when you see a new deck in Modern, all you have to do is basically count the number of cards in the deck that were printed in 2019. And that number is really high. Your deck's probably really good. Uh, this deck has 20 of the 60 cards, including lands, were printed in 2019. Uh, the other big element, obviously, aside from Oko and Once Upon a Time, is Castle Garenberg. And this land is secretly just Ancient Tomb. Uh, for four mana, you have to make six mana for green, which is conveniently the exactly conveniently the exact amount of mana you want to cast titan so with castle garenberg we can cast titan on turn i mean we'll say five obviously we're ramping so that makes titan come out even faster and this card is just so good there's almost no drawback we're playing a bunch of forests castle garenberg is really really good so castle garenberg field of the dead we got once upon a time to help you sell together we got our ramp spells and tribe elder explore a boil razor uh one nice thing about the deck is that we're playing two copies of simic growth chamber which is the Bounce Land. And the Bounce Lands play phenomenally with the extra play an extra land mechanic. Obviously, we see this in Amulet Titan. The whole deck is based around that. But one of the downsides to a Boreal Grazer or Explore is that you actually run out of lands and you can't use the extra land effect. Or you say you have an opening hand with three lands in it and you go turn one land, turn to Explore, put a land into play, turn three amount of lands. Those scenarios are not okay. So Growth Chamber helps us with that while also helping us with our Titan uh, land selections. We can get Solaria West and Bounce to our hand. Uh, we can keep reusing our Pajuka Bog, keep reusing our Radiant Fountain. A lot of extra utility there from our, our growth chambers. And then also, in the late game, we can just use Chamber to bounce itself every turn to make zombies off of our field. So honestly, a really cool, exciting new deck. It's been doing really, really well uh, in the last few days on Magic Online. It's powerful, focused, and honestly, kind of simple, just playing a lot of really good cards with a really good, straightforward plan. Sort of like Amulet Titan without all the uh, all the fuss. And I also have two copies of Cavern of Souls to beat those counter spells too. Cyborg's got the copies of Mystical Dispute. 2019 Magic, am I right? Really, really good card. Three Dismember. Obviously, need some kill spells occasionally. Uh, we get an Obstinate Bailoff, a Chameleon Colossus, and a Reclamation Sage as our green creature tutor targets. 
Also get two copies of Choke. Gotta love some Choke. Obviously, we're playing Islands too, but a card like this is backbreaking against Simic Urza and decks like that where all of their lands are Islands. Uh, only one Veil of Summer. Kind of interesting. This card's really, really good, obviously. And then three copies of Dampening Sphere. Um, I imagine Tron is not a good matchup for us. Or spell-based combo. So, Damping Sphere helps out there. So, pretty excited to try this deck out. Primal Titan and Oko hanging out in Modern. But first, a fast word from our sponsors at CoolStuffInc.com. This video is brought to you by CoolStuffInc.com. To learn more about this deck, click the link in the video's description below to read Jim's article. All right, round one. Let's go. Not a great hand here. Um... We do have Once Upon a Time. We are pretty land flush. We have an Oko. And Once Upon a Time could find us an Arboreal Razor for a little ramp. Or a Tri Builder, actually, too, which is pretty good. So we have eight looks at a ramp spell. We have Castle, Castle Garenberg also. We're on the draw. I'm going to keep. I don't know if this is right or not. Um, we're leaning on Once Upon a Time pretty hard here. But honestly, if we find a Brazer. Uh, a tri builder or a titan we're reasonably happy oko can buy us some time this bog may randomly be good it might be a loose keep but i'm gonna keep hers is mine as we said tron does seem like a bad matchup so we'll see uh hopefully they're playing all drowsy tron and not good tron They did keep seven, which means they're more likely on Eldrazi Tron. Titan. Right, let's go looking for a, a Boreal Grazer. Titan's pretty good. I'll take a Tribe Elder here, too. So we have eight hits. Uh, we whiffed, completely whiffed. We had four lands and a Summer's Pact. That's pretty bad. Um, I already have plenty of green and castles. Let's take the Radiant Fountain. Well, that was pretty bad. Uh... We had eight shots at a ramp spell there, five times and missed. Um, if they're playing Aldrazi Tron, Oko should be reasonably good against them. Well, we're going to find out. I mean, we cannot, we absolutely cannot beat the card Karn. Karn liberated. So if they want to Karn liberated us, we are probably dead. Any benefit to not revealing what we're playing? As so far as we revealed Breeding Pool, Radiant Fountain. Eh, I don't think we've got enough secrets here. So, Once Upon a Time did not pan out for us. Could have argued for a mulligan, maybe, but... It's too alluring to see Once Upon a Time there. Alright, so hopefully this is the pivotal point you're playing against Tron deck. Either they play Karn, you lose, or they play two Matterer Shapers, and you go, Whew. Oh, thank God. They're playing Aldrazi Tron. Whew. Oh, thank God. Oh, praise be. Ah, uh, that's better. Okay, ramp spell of some kind. Once upon a time, so we can't even really cast. Oh, we can't even really cast Oko here because they have the awesome power of two matter shapers on turn turn three. We could make just make a food and uh, and just gain six life basically. But we can cast once upon a time here. We'll look for a boil razor. Again, um, I set up for a turn five Titan, which is probably going to be good enough, honestly. We'll see if they have uh, anything else going on here. If they had a Thought Knot or Smash, they probably would have cast it already. So, let's cast Once Upon a Time. Tri Builder or Boreal Razor, again, please. All right, we did it. So, let's play Castle Garenberg. I guess we could have sandbagged that to hide that we have Titan eternally, but... And then we're going to put in... They're going to put in the Bajookabog. Just tap land. Serves no real value against them. And next turn we have Titan. So fantastic. Once we get our 
Field of the Dead Endgame online. Unless they have like, I mean, I don't know, Ugin or something. That seems like it'd be pretty, uh, in pretty good shape here. All right, no blocks. Only real problem here is that they have a Thought Not Seer, which I imagine they would have cast last turn. So, Tectonic Edge. Not bad. All right, well, that kills a field and buys them a turn. Mm -hmm. It's fun. Summoner's Pact. Not really interested. So, we'll just play Oko. And we could just make our Grazer into a 3-3. Three, three. Um, the thing is, I almost don't even want to kill the Matter of Shapers, because that gives them possibilities of drawing things like Thought Knots here. I think we just play Oko and make a food and say go. And we'll just jump block. This is gonna, gonna buy us some life and buy us some time. I guess they have the chalice and play too for Summoner's Pact, so it's not really on the table at the moment, but you can't have that many uh effects like that. And in theory, we can tighten next turn. Ah, oh. all right. I mean, we can just Oka O the Chalice the Void and then Pact for a Titan. Uh, kind of sucks, but they're so gonna have a lot of attackers next turn. But that is probably what we're doing. We get two lands. We get to have two zombies, and then we can keep making zombies as the game progresses. Uh, 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12. This is 13 on the board. Yeah, I mean, we, we just have to do that, so. All right. Primeal Titan, come on down. We are going to get ourselves... A field of the dead and something else. I mean, can't get a bounce land because then we're we're gonna uh, make things awkward for our field of the dead. I guess we would still get two tokens, and then we would get a token again next. We could get, could get a bounce land and bounce like the radiant fountain. Um, Ghost quarter breaks up Tron, which I guess is fine. Blast zone, not particularly great. Yeah, kind of just like Ghost Quarter. I don't know how important breaking up their Tron is, but we might have Field of a Dead in this deck. Perhaps over Ghost Quarter. So, now we have a 6-6 six, six and two two twos against their board of mopey creatures. And if we get to attack with this Titan, the game's probably over. Chalice of the Elk. Now it's possible they have Dismember in their main deck. Which would make a block with Titan not good. Um, okay, we're... If they had Dismember, they would probably attack with everything. Unless they're like super next level. Um... But we're just going to, uh, I'm going to block with just the zombies. Because they can also hit, like, a, a walking blista off of their matter of shapers. And we, I, want this, I want this titan that's alive and attacking next turn. So, I don't care if it dies in the attack step, but I want to get another trigger off this titan. Get two more fields and really get things rolling here. Alright, first ball up is a matter of shaper. Ah, uh, yes. The only better than one matter of shapers, two matter of shapers. And then a warping whale. 
which counters a sorcery or exiles a small creature or makes a token. Eldrazi Temple. Oh, they have plenty of mana. Suppose paying uh, paying for this pack would be a good idea. That's pretty good too. All right, so we attack with Titan. They're gonna trade it for the Elk and the Reshaper probably, which is fine, because we're gonna get two fields, make a bajillion zombies, and call it a day most likely. And just Titan again next turn. Oh, one field's already gone. Okay. Uh, that's a good field. And... I guess Blast Zone. The next Titan can get the can get like Growth Chamber to Teleria West. Yeah, I want to guarantee zombies, then Ghost Quarter their Tron probably, so. Okay, so we only have two fields going. I thought we were gonna have three fields going. But that should still be plenty. So they get a 19 trigger, trigger matter shaper, which will reveal a blast zone. Okay, that's fine. And then post combat, we're gonna play. It's funny, we could we could get Tyler Tracker, and they they would, they would just they would just blast zone for three though. It's not really like very good for us. So let me just make our food into a thing. Play land and say go, and we will ghost quarter them in their draw step. So blast on goes to three. So they want to kill this Oko. At this point, we can see Oko's done a really good job of bridging the gap. The Oko really isn't that important anymore. Uh, but it has made them deal with it and bought us a lot of time. So it's a uh, bridge in the gap is pretty important and it does a very good job of that. So we draw out the ghost quarter. Just wanted to give them a chance to draw their waste rather than us uh, taking it out of their deck. And I think we're in pretty good shape here. Sure. So we just have pack for the Titan next turn. We can get start getting our Simic Growth Chambers and bouncing stuff and just doing all sorts of shenanigans. Interesting. Snow covered far. So they're playing the Once Upon a Time version of Eldrazi Tron. Just extremely light splash for Once Upon a Time. Oh, I mean this game is uh pretty much in hand here. Send this elk to its doom. Act for Titan. Call it a day. Not really sure what their uh, their way out of this one is. Would not be surprised if they cast Once Upon a Time here. It was stuck in their hand because their hands have been pretty stagnant for a while. We're going to get a uh, Teleria West and a Grove Chamber. And we're going to bounce the Grove Chamber and bounce the Teleria West. I have not even played a land yet. Yeah. I think we're in uh, pretty good shape here.
Warping Whale to make a 1-1 Eldrazi Scion. That is the, uh, that is the turning of the tide. That is the turning of the tide for sure. They're still playing. They're still playing. They have all his dust. We just get to we just get to do it again next turn. So let's pump this uh this blast zone up. I guess. They pay for a pact. We can Delario West and cast Titan, I believe. They basically need to play the card All is Dust every turn for the rest of the game, so that should be good for us. Alright, so we have. Um, yeah, we can float up. So we have one. Two, three, four. Yeah, that is exactly enough. Fantastic. Our fourth Titan. And this one is going to get. Now we're at a Solaria West. I guess a growth chamber and we're actually out of cool lands at this point. We'll just get a Abyss on Island so we can use our pack negation. Kind of a cute card to draw. Do this. And we're actually gonna bounce the growth chamber itself. Set up our, our loop for um Infinite Zombies. Play this. We'll name uh name Goblin. And so they go. So once again, like I said, they got, they got to cast all of this essentially every single turn of the rest of the game. We're not mind a field of the dead. This deck, we're not mind a field of the dead at all. Not only is a is it a ghost quarter style effect, but it's also a way to just get more zombies on their turn. I should have gotten a misty rainforest. That was stupid. All right, sure, whatever. They are still playing. Yeah, should have gotten a misty, so if they have another all us, I can make an extra token off of it. But I have I have pack negation anyway, it doesn't really matter, but Alright, that is the end. So, even though we kept a, a slightly loose hand, um thankfully our opponent obliged us with the uh turn three tron matter shaper, matter shaper hand. So that is good for us. Um as far as sideboarding goes, we definitely want Dismember. Uh, I don't hate a Reclamation Sage. I guess what comes out is pretty complicated. I don't think we want Pact Negation. Hmm. I mean, honestly, Chalice the Voice is not even that good against us. Chalice on zero is kind of, we each have, have Oko. We don't need this. Dismember for Thought Nuts. I don't even want this either, honestly. This member for Thought Not Seer is pretty good, but they're not really beating us with ground creatures. We lock that up pretty well. I don't know if I want these, honestly. Um, I don't hate Bail Off. It just sizes really well. Either it, the, only, the only thing it gets, it gets run over by is the uh, Reality Smasher. I don't know if we're going to pack the but Juga Bob can go. Obviously, this has no real utility in this matchup. Um... Don't think you want Damping Sphere. Um, them having Tron isn't even that bad for us. It's not like they're casting Karn. You know, they want to cast multiple Matter Shapers or big Walking Ballistas. We can beat that. Damping Sphere is more for stopping either like Storm decks or decks playing Karn and Ulamog and stuff. Because those are the cards we can't beat. But Matter Shaper, very beatable. So right now we're cutting a Bog for a Bailoth. Again, I don't think we want dismember i think this is it honestly this is all i really want
This Emperor is only super good against Thought Knots here, and I just don't think that random ground creatures are even that bad for us. They also just don't deal with the card Titan very well. Um, it just outsizes all of their creatures, and they don't kill it very easily. Um, if they have their own dismembers, obviously it's minus five, minus five, which isn't very good. So, all right, Sand is uh, very reasonable. We drew our one bail off. We have a once upon a time ramp spell lands. All seems pretty good. Point of Mulligans to six. Point goes to five. Our deck certainly has a pretty, uh, pretty hefty level of consistency as well. You know, unlike a deck like Tron or Amulet Titan, we don't really need to put together certain things. We just need lands and ramp spells and a payoff. And we're pretty good at finding payoffs with our Once Upon a Times and Summoner's Packs and stuff. They found a Thought Not Seer, which is obviously one of their better cards. That's fun. Uh, well, Once Upon a Time, look for Boil Razor. We find Tribelder, Tribelder, Cavern of Souls. It's pretty happy to take a Tribelder here. And just play Misty and get a, uh, a Breeding Pool, I think. Oh. They got turned through Tron again. It's fun. All right. Well, we've got a uh, pretty redundant hand here. We can cast Bail Off on three, and then Pack for Titan on four. Thanks to Castle Garenberg. This card is messed up. Just literally an entire turn ahead on Titan all by itself. Like with nothing more than a Tribelder and a Tight and the Garenberg, we're, plastic, we're casting Titan on turn four. Which is the uh, time you want to be casting it. Alright, they've got Tron. Here it comes. Give me Matter or Shaper or give me Death. Okay. Actually, could have locked. I mean, it doesn't matter because we, they we sacrifice it. And the trample goes over anyway. But all right, so we're gonna get a. I guess we'll get a snow covered island. We're gonna mix up our lands here a little bit. Bailoff can't block Reality Smasher, but it does gain its life and then handle the follow up Thought Knots here. Uh, I think playing Bailoff over Tri Builder here is certainly much preferable. We have two packs for Titan, so the four life we gain here is basically a time walk. They have like Land Smasher Thought Not here. That could be a problem, but they do not, so. Alright, so we're going to go to 13, they're going to Thought Knot us, and we're going to cast Summoner's Pack and cast Titan next turn. Feels good. Feels good. By Garenberg, we have five unique lands, go get a Field of the Dead and some other land I haven't decided yet. A few things could be blast zone, be a fetch land. No chalice on zero. All right, cool. <laughs> so we drew a field of a dead. Well, we can't cast that, so I can't play that and do our our plan here. Big Daddy Titan, come on down. So 
So one field of a dead. I mean, Ghost Quarter breaks up Tron, but also gives them green mana. Um, Blast Zone is medium. Teleria West is won't be in our hand. Honestly, Radiant Fountain's not the worst if we're concerned about getting cheesed out in some way. Yeah, I don't hate Radiant Fountain. I don't think breaking up their Tron matters that much. I guess maybe it does. All right, I'll just get the Ghost Quarter. And now we have blockers. We're going to start attacking, honestly. Even if, they, even if they can remove a tight, we still have these two 2s to block the Thought Nuts here. 13 is pretty healthy, and we are looking to turn the corner pretty quick, so. They have the card all is dust here. Um, that might do it. Because that would allow them to attack. All right, they seem to have all is dust. So we got to pay for our Pact. Play a Tribe Elder and a Field of the Dead. I think we're still fine here. They have another All's Dust. Eh, things get dicey. Radiant Fountain. All right, so two blockers. This can get a regular island. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think we're going to Ghost Quarter their Tron. And we get to make two more blockers. So you can triple block the Smasher, single block the Thought Nuts here and stay alive. If they have anything else, we're dead, but not much else we can do here, so. So. Might even want to Tribe Elder uh, right now because they play a Ghost Quarter. They can kill a field in response to sacking Tribe Elder. So. Or Tectonic Edge, whatever. So we have Snow Covered Forest, Snow Covered Island, Forest, Island. Two zombies. This is what I was saying about them not really being able to win the game on the ground. Would like to draw a spell of some kind next turn. Ballista on two, sure. Well, that makes the attack super awkward. Yeah, it does. Okay. Um, I guess we just like double double. So we'd be taking one, two, three. So we would go to one, but we would kill Thought Knot and draw a card. We want to select Ballista to save for Thought Knot. It's fine. One, two, three. We also have a Radiant Fountain in our hand, which is pretty good. If we triple block the Smasher, they just kill one of the zombies. Um, I like this. We have Radiant Fountain also is pretty uh, pretty clutch. And hopefully we draw a spell of Thought Nuts here. So you go to three life points. Draw Oko, Thief of Crowns, and Simic Growth. That's actually pretty good with the uh, Radiant Mountain. So gain some life, make some two twos, and then play Oko. And what's Oko gonna do? I guess we can make a zombie into a 3-3, so we can block the Smasher. Um, they have... They can, like, 
ballista down one of the zombies, just like kind of not great. Making a food is also kind of okay. We need to make the food and then just take some damage next turn. Because you can't take that much damage. Um, hmm. Interesting. Oh, there's Elk the Smasher, which puts us in the chump block world for Smasher. We can just chump block it all day. Because the trample right now is the actual annoying part. Yeah, then we just Elk the Smasher. Then we have reasonable chump blocks, making more zombies every turn, so with the Simicro Chamber in hand, we're never gonna stop making zombies, so. Reality Elker. Blast Zone. Sure. They have a Smasher, we're dead. But, alright. I mean, alright, that's fine. We got cheesed out a little bit this game. Um, block here. Yeah, we're dead. Yeah, it was pretty good. It felt a little cheesy. Couple of reality smashers and some alls dust. You know, they gotta kind of punk us out a little bit and kill us before we can get set up, which they were able to do. So let's try to make sure it doesn't happen again. I think we're in fine shape. I'm not super worried. You know, they had to have a thought not for our second Titan, double smasher, the all is dust on that key turn. Um the ballista is pretty important too, so no, I'm not too worried. I'm not too worried. All this dust is certainly their uh, their only real ace in the hole. No changes. The problem with this member is that like our fear of losing is to get cheesed out, and in that game we couldn't even cast this member fear of five in a large portion of the, of the late game. So we just don't really want to take any damage. Our goal is to stay alive. And then, if we can, insulate ourselves against all his dust. Okay. The sand's fine. It's not great. It's definitely a little awkward here with the Teleri West and the Field of the Dead, but we can keep this. Put him all against a 5 again. Looking for the goods. These are smart mulligans. Your opponent realizes they can't really beat us in a long game, so they got to have a good hand. Makes sense. So, we're going to lead on Teleria West. Makes it more likely we can cast. I guess it doesn't, kind of doesn't matter either way. Fetch Forest, Explore, play Field of the Dead. We have turn 3 drawn again. Right, so they have Chalice on zero, which is fine. It's annoying, but we have we have Oko anyway, so. Right. So we're gonna explore. I guarantee this land drop. And we're gonna get uh the least populous forest, which is this one. A little awkward on the lands here, obviously, but. I mean, honestly, we already have a field, so we just keep making land drops. You know, eventually that'll come online naturally. I don't need to cast Titan. Versus Tower, Cavern Soul. So no turn three Tron for the third game in a row. So that's, that's pretty good for us. And we just ship off the old Oko here. I 
Oka, of course, allows us to uh, deal with Chalice uh, at will, basically. Get our Summoner's Pact online. We got Tribe Elders to play. We draw a green source next turn. We should be able to get Field online as well. We already have Oko online. So I think we're doing pretty good here. We even have Pact Negation for a uh, possible Always Dust, which is kind of cute. We gotta deal with the Chalice first, but they get hers as mine. That's fine. Blue. They didn't, get, they didn't get Aldrazi Temple, which is interesting. Uh, Matter Reshaper, sure. Tribe Elder all day. Alright. We could steal their Matter Shaper, which is actually pretty sweet. Um... Could I... No, it's an exchange. Yeah, I think we just do it. Honestly. It seems better than making a 3-3. Three, three. It just kills their 3-3 three, three and gives us 3-3. Three, three. And this is great because if it dies, we possibly get a land. You know, half our deck is lands. So this is very likely to be a, a super tribe elder. It's funny how the snow covered lands make. Oh, they have Tron again. Surprise. The snow covered lands make Field of the Dead so good. They are tapping 8 mana. I suppose this is a large ballista. This is pretty annoying. Alright. Um, yeah, it's annoying. That does make our Oko a lot worse, obviously. And now our packs are kind of off. Alright. That's kind of crappy. Go get snow covered forest. And a regular forest. So kind of annoying we drew a non unique land there. Uh, definitely not the coolest, but. Funny, I think we actually just hold this forest for a land drop. So we're going to get Ion, Snow Covered Islands, and turn on Field. Then we can play this land for uh, another Zombies. Then we just hold on to it. Add a counter to Ballista. Sure. Definitely gonna need to answer this Ballista eventually. Maybe our, our Oko switch play was too cute. We just exposed it to Ballista. Or maybe we didn't need to. We could have just made a 3-3 out of our food and just said go and just dealt with the fact they had a matter shaper. It might have been like a little too cute. We still have an Oko in play. The Oko is actually pretty important as far as dealing with this Chalice the Void. So, while it's not something we wanted to do immediately, you know, it's definitely a thing we wanted to do eventually to unlock our hand. So, might have been wrong. Might have been just like a danger of like, you know, just trying to make the Q play. It's an interesting choice. You were just sacrificing this anyway, so I'm not sure why they wasted time shooting it. I have, I mean, they can actually pump the ballista, but all right, start making zombies.
Explore is not the worst. Bailout is also not the worst. And we're not really making insane forward progress, but we're also not in really much trouble. In every land we draw, it's just more zombies. Uh, we draw an Oko, that's pretty great. We're at a reasonable life total. Even a all this dust isn't the end of the world because we still have his matter shaper, which is definitely part of the allure of keeping matter shaper. Or, or taking it is that it doesn't die to all his dust, so we don't get cheesed out on that big like all his dust attack turn. And they have a lot of mana. Not that you know ballista is the scariest thing in the world, but Definitely have a ways to go before this ballista actually kills us. Cavern of Souls. Um, that would really help us. I think we just play land, say go. We could like attack with Matter Shaper and try and get a card off of it, but. Unfortunately, Blaststone can't deal with Chalice or Walking Ballista. That's kind of annoying. But I mean, we just unlock this Chalice and we get to we get to Titan and kill them. So we just need to draw an Oko, I guess. They certainly don't have much going on. If all they're doing is pumping Ballista every turn. I'm not sure we should be pumping this blast zone up. Like, at least three seems reasonable. Not gonna play it, then it costs one or two that matters. I guess I'll pump it twice. So they give us the options. I mean, four is more likely, or, or five, but we have plenty of mana, so just get started. Daddy's home. Um, all right, I think we we want to play around all his dust too. Just gonna leave this matter shaper back probably. Maybe just smash and play Titan. What's the Titan going to get? Probably just two field of it eds. Realistically. Been a long first match here. Right. I mean, breaking up their Tron. I guess breaking up Tron's pretty good. Turns off, turns it off as ballista shenanigans. Yeah, this is all fine. And just making a bajillion zombies is a little soft to all his dust. Yeah, I think maybe we break, we break up Tron here. Let's get Ghost Quarter, Field of the Dead. Obviously no point in getting Calaria West because we have the... We're already locked into the thing. Let's get Field of the Dead and Ghost Quarter. So the most I can obviously just shoot down a Titan. And they're not close to being able to all his dust, kill Reshaper, attack, and kill us. That's a ways to go. And then they have to kill the Titan or he just dies. I mean, they have all his dust this turn. It's pretty bad for us. And they have all his dust. No, they have Thought Nuts here. Mm -hmm. I mean, if their last card is all is dust, we're probably dead. But 
And that sucks. If we had just uh, if we had just played our Oko better, I think we'd have been a lot better off. Yeah, they just have all his dust too. No. All right. Maybe. All right, so they got to pump off six counters to stop my Titan. And then we have to just swing out again. I should have put the blast zone on four to the three. We were never activating it on three, and now I would love to pop it on four of his turn, but I can't. It's not a bad draw. All right, just go right to combat. They have to kill Titan before it attacks. No? I mean, that's pretty wild. I mean, unless they just think they're drawing to exactly all his dust. Okay, um, it's funny because I probably would have gotten the Radiant Fountain had we not drawn it. If they if they've been setting up all of us this entire time, we are actually gonna lose. I should know two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. I can see a walking bullet stuff is that to search for artillery west. That'd be kinda cool. I mean maybe I should play Radiant Fountain first, so I could have bounced it with the Simic Road Chamber, so that actually doesn't actually matter. But alright, whatever. Just get field and get growth chamber. And it's kind of just, they either have all of us or they don't. So they get to kill some zombies. This takes their ballista down a notch too. Yeah, I don't think they really have many outs here. We're just making three two twos every turn for the rest of the game. Uh, they're going down to a fairly precarious life total. They basically have to have all of us to not die. So draw step, he goes quarter, Tron land. Probably doesn't really matter, honestly, but. And we're tapping seven, but they didn't use their Eldrazi mana. Worm coil engine? Uh, okay. That's a magic card, I suppose. Oh, I didn't pump the blast on up. Eh, whatever. I don't think it really matters at this point.
I mean, right now they're taking 18 damage. Like, they're gaining some damage, but I have food, sure. I mean, this really is a timeout, so. Taking 14 and gaining 6. They're just dead anyway. So they could have killed one more zombie and survived, but I don't see how they actually win the game. We were going to Tri Boulder, which can block Worm Coil and make a token. We have Grow Chamber, Radiant Fountain. Yeah, so. Okay. So they got us one game. They kind of cheese that a little bit, but that feels like a pretty good matchup for us. And Eldrazi Tron, I believe, is the most popular deck on Magic Online currently. Pretty impressive first uh, first first match though. Definitely still a very new deck. Um, I wouldn't mind Field of Ruin somewhere. And I could see Walking Ballista being an option. This is just so good with the the Bounce Land to Larry West package, as well as a bunch of mana. I think I see like Hydra Crisis maybe somewhere as a one of. Like being able to summoners pack for Hydra Crisis is pretty cool. You have a lot of mana in the mid game. It's counter spell decks too. It's not too shabby. A lot of places you can go with this. We just gotta add more 2019 magic cards, really. That's all you gotta do. This hand is definitely the appeal of this deck. We have a five land hand. And we have turn four turn four Titan. It's all by itself. That's pretty awesome. That's pretty awesome. Tribe Elder, Garenberg, Summer Spect. Ink Moth Nexus. All right, Signal Pest. Whew. I think uh, Infect seems like a pretty bad matchup for us. Affinity, not as much. I also have his Blast Zone ready to go, too, so. Plays. Certainly plays. The Flying here could be a little bit of an issue, but I guess we're not, like, super well souped up for this matchup, right? We don't really have much, like, by the way of uh, Disenchant effects. Flying is pretty good. I also can't beat the card Etch Champion. That's an issue. I mean... And they have a play next turn. It's actually match is pretty bad. Thinking about it, explore. Um, I mean, exploring down a growth chamber isn't very good. Maybe just tribe elder and set up for Garenberg next turn, right? No, it's only four mana next turn. I'm bad at math. Then next turn we can explore and do some stuff. Because of blast zone, maybe. You know, just try. I guess if we draw a Boreal Grazer off of the Explorer, which would be pretty, uh, pretty insane. That would be nice. We're not really currently blocking any ground creatures. I guess the Ravager's, like, there. Explorer costs one less on later turns, though, because you just play land on tap, maybe. So, let's play Tribe Elder. No cranial plating, please. No cranial plating, no etched champion. 
We're going to have to lean really hard on this Blast Zone here. Having Ghost Quarter for Ink Moth Nexus is also pretty nice. The early Grow Chamber is a little awkward because it gives us one less land in play for our um, our Field of the Deads. I don't feel like that's even that good against them, honestly. I mean, realistically, not many of our lands are actually like we we have both good lands against them in our hand already. So our Titans, like, it's good, but <clears throat> just make the block here. So they let priority pass here. We could just let this tribe elder trip trip this ravager. It seems pretty bad though. I'm gonna get a snow covered forest from the extra blue really matters. Hello. Breeding pool. Yeah, problem being here is that we don't really have an answer to things in the air at all. Um, blast on for two is very, very slow. Might just be necessary though, honestly. We can just go explore, play land, play blast zone, pump it up, next turn pop it. Like, it feels pretty bad, but that might need, you know, what we need to do. Explore, I mean, it kills their two main threats. They'll be able to modular onto their flyers, which also seems hard to beat. We just are very soft to the keyword flying. Well, that, uh, that helps a little bit, I guess. All right, um, I guess Blast Zone and then Goose Quarter to defend against possible shenanigans with this Ink Mod Nexus. Even though we're probably trying to pump up the uh, Blast Zone anyway. Uh-oh. Somebody once told me... That's bad. Uh, I mean, now we're just like... I mean... That's just another thing that dies to Blast Zone. But are we just dead on board? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. This is 12. This is pretty bad. I mean, the Blast Zone kills the all the Glitters and the Plating and the Ravager. And I guess the Grazer can block whatever uh, comes next. We're in pretty bad shape here. Problem here is that our plan isn't actually good against them. Um, all right, so three to pop, one to a boreal razor. I think we're just playing a breeding pool tapped and then a simic growth chamber. Three to pop. Yeah. Is there a reason to untap or well, let them untap? I think we're just dead. I guess the the Grazer buys us a turn, but I don't know where we're going after this Grazer dies. I just... If we had a Hydra Grazer that I'd like to block Flyers, that would be pretty cool.
All right, so I don't know if our deck can beat this hand, realistically. Um, just big flyers, we just have no answer in our entire, in our main deck, and honestly in our deck at all. Um, Affinity is obviously not a very popular deck at the moment. Uh, ooh, this is a serious, serious hole in this deck strategy. We have no recourse here. We just have no disenchants at all. We have one Reclamation Sage. Uh, let's say we don't want Pack Negation or Bajuka Bug. We want Reclamation Sage. Suppose we want these dismembers. Um, what do we not want? I guess Tyler's Tracker. I do love Tyler's Tracker, but it's not really helping us. And then the Bailoth also seems kind of bad. All right. I mean, we just got to go fast. Just got to get Titans down real quick and just make some zombies because they, I mean, that was a turn five kill through multiple pieces of disruption. It's not multiple, but we mean a, at least two blockers and a blast zone activation. They killed us on turn five. I guess Oko is good, you know. Certainly a lot faster than our last match. Yikes. Yikes, 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 yikes. Even if this was a forest, I don't know, I don't know if we can keep this hand anyway. We probably can, but... Alright. Uh, we're going to keep... I kind of like the idea of keeping a uh, growth chamber on the mulligan here. It's also very good with explore, but and you know what? Let's just keep it. Let's hit the forest. Actually, maybe we should the mystery in forest. The damage might matter. We have once upon a time turn to explore for growth chamber. Yeah. Okay. Once upon a time. Well, there's a Royal Razor. Um, I suppose that plays. We want to go fast. This is how you do it. And we're just going to put in this uh, Scrow Chamber, I think. And this is uh, probably a turn three Titan, right? We have to explore. We have the Garenberg. However, they have turn one steel overseer. Okay. Explore Teleria West. Right. Don't think we want Teleria West like in, in our hand to transmute. Play this, play that. Let's fetch a breeding pool and next turn Titan, I guess. There's no, uh, no, all the glitters in this ornithopter. All right, good. The evasion is the problem here. Oh boy. So we can get a blast zone. It's pretty good. Oh my god. I mean, blast zone for one is obviously insane. So we get, although we can't get feel of a dead because this this growth chamber. But Blast One on One is pretty good, so. So we are going to search and get Field of a Dead and Blast Zone. And get no zombies, but 
We're not rolled up horribly for next turn, and we have Blast Zone next turn. And I also have to deal with our Titan. If that gets to attack, that's really good. So... It's funny, because the only answer to Titan, really, is probably Path to Exile, which would give us the land necessary to make sure I'm making zombies, which is pretty cool, so... I mean, they get to attack for a good amount here, but if we get to Blast Zone next turn for one, I'm feeling pretty good. They are in the tank. It's funny, this deck reminds me of like a really fun cube draft deck out of my cube. I certainly support this sort of like land style strategy. I have a couple, a couple bounce lands. If y'all want to see me do some more cube content, please let me know. All the glitters on Ginger Brute. This is bold, but that is huge, actually. Did not realize that was going to be that big. Uh, are we just dead on turn three here? <laughs> like, are we just dead? It, I think we're just dead. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Yeah, we're just dead. All right, they're just dead on turn three. All right, so yeah, this matchup seems wholly unwinnable. Um, their hand was insane. This is turn three, and they are attacking for lethal through two blockers, but. Yeah, we are not really equipped to handle a blitz like this. Um, yeah, that was brutal. That was absolutely brutal. Our hand was as, probably as good as it could be. Also, I guess if we didn't have we, we didn't have the Grow Chamber Guardian, or I mean the Grow Chamber, we had a different land, so we made two zombies that turn. That would be probably the best possible hand we could have, but um, wasn't even close to good enough. So, yeah, those robots. Affinity. It's funny how metagames work. Affinity hasn't been good for like a year. But if decks like this start being good again, maybe Affinity's good again. Metagames always cyclical. It's always just one big circle. Or is it Outer Boros or whatever? The snake that eats its own tail? Probably saying that wrong. Everyone's going to make fun of me. That's okay though. Okay. Ooh boy. Um... I mean, we're keeping this hand. Once upon a time finds us any green land, and our hand is pretty much insane. We have to throw on Grazer and turn to Tribelder. Uh, we're going to keep this. We also have our draw step, too. So finding a land is not the most uh, you know outlandish request. Half our deck is lands. And we just drew one naturally. Um, we are going to cast Once Upon a Time, though, so let's see what we get here. Castle, Cavern, Breeding Pool. I mean, I think we just want the castle. Even though we don't have a forest yet, I feel like playing castle to apt is just fine. Because we're going to go turn one, Cavern, name Beast, play Grazer, put in Grow Chamber, bounce the Cavern, turn two, cast Tribelder, and we can just sacrifice it. And play castle or whatever. Yeah, we're taking the castle here for sure. I don't think it's close. And then we're going to play cavern. Name beast. Sneak this little boreal grazer in here. But yes, good holidays. Oh, there we go. So you all have to do start talking. And then uh, and it works. So, grow chambers in. Bounce the cavern of souls. And I would say we're... Feeling pretty good. Not sure what this scalding tarn's up to over here, but we have Garenberg and Cavern for Titan. Watery Grave Shock. Fifteen, thirteen, dismember a boil grazer. So probably playing a shadow deck, looking for a fast shadow here. Um I'd imagine we line up pretty well here. We'll see what they do, but try well to get in for some good blocks. Once Titan gets down, she's making two twos. They're going to be 
almost required to have Battle Rage to kill us. And then Blast Zone's also insane. Alright, well that is basically the nuts. Uh, turn 2, Double Death Shadow on the play. Don't see that one too often. <laughs> Get a little surprise for him next turn. Oops, just Garenberg tapped. Not too shabby. Not too shabby. We were going to go fetch the uh, Blast Zone, but just drawing it naturally also works pretty well. Pretty well. So as long as I don't have, like, Dismember plus Battle Rage this turn to just kill us, I think we're in good shape. So please don't have Dismember and Battle Rage to kill us. Suppose even just Battle Rage by itself. I mean, they fetch Shock. They have two 6-6s. Six it's only 18. So they would need more than that. Hopefully they're not churning on the math here. Our opponent has disconnected. Hmm. They're back. They were running such serious calculations, their computer just... Carry the one plus three square root of uh whatever. It's gonna be pretty annoying if they actually have dismember plus battle rage here. Snapcaster mage dismember. Um that Puts us dead. That's exactly lethal. Man, our opponents had some pretty good draws uh -huh, in these last few games. We have now died on turn three, two games in a row. All right, I and mean, you you win, I guess. Not very common for the Death Shadow deck to kill on turn three. I would say it happens maybe one percent of the time or something like that. Uh, but there it is. Through two blockers, no less. Right. Even your blast zone, too. That was a, that was a pretty sick game, Magic. Uh, I'm not gonna lie. All right, so we're gonna want probably dismembers. What do we not want? I mean, Bajuka Box. It's like fine against them. It's not like exceedingly good. I do kind of like Tyrus Tracker. Oko is also just great against them. You know. Um, What to sideboard out is interesting. I mean, Pact Negation is pretty bad. And then the Bajuka Bog, like, obviously it could nuke their graveyard to slow down a um, Gurmag Angler, but it just seems really sketch. I don't want to have, like, I guess Chameleon Colossus is really good against them, too. Like, I don't know how many dismembers I actually want. Uh, go on Veil of Summer? I don't think so. It is good on the play against Thoughtseize, so maybe we're kind of interested in that too. What are we not interested in? Maybe Tracker is just too slow? Yeah, I could buy that. I think I don't want Veil on the, on the draw on the draw, but on the play, being able to tag their uh, turn one Thoughtseize is pretty good. Uh, don't bail off. I think two dismembers is enough because the problem is December doesn't always kill a shadow, so we don't, we don't want to go crazy on it. All right, I think this is fine. Yeah, that was pretty unreal. Turn three kill on the play. Welcome back to modern, Jim. Welcome back to modern. You've been playing too much Pioneer.
feel free to leave your thoughts on modern versus pioneer in the comments. I would love to hear them because modern, it can be pretty frustrating at times. You know, our last few games, we really haven't many, didn't have many options. We kind of just died, you know, and this hand is not great. Not great at all. So this is what you're saying with the Arboreal Grazers, with a, a three land grazer hand. You just run out of lands, unfortunately. We're gonna mulligan this hand. I just don't think it's good enough. Yeah, I could have shaved a grazer or two, honestly. They don't block particularly well. And they're pretty bad when you're getting, getting thought seized. Like, if we could definitely cast Colossus on turn three, and that's nothing, that's not good. It's not a mulligan. All right. Oh, well, this hand's better. So we can keep this and ship a grazer. All right. Well, once upon a time, show me the way. I would love a Simic Growth Chamber. Damn. Uh, I mean, Field of the Dead is great. It's like, actually finding a field is pretty awesome. But I think that between the Grazer and the Simic Growth Chamber, I'd rather just have the extra land drops. It's also a blue source for Oko, which is really important to resolve. Yeah, I'm just going to Growth Chamber. And we're just going to... Run the old Grazer. Growth Chamber. Bounce. Now I have Explore into Tribe Elder. So we're just drawing for a big threat. It's not a bad place to be against this deck. Can't thought see the top of my deck, so make sure we're just make sure we're set up and go from there. So they can't really stop us from having a bunch of mana on turn three or four, which is great. So just gotta knock the old top of the deck and see if we can uh, pull something out. Oko, Thief of Crowns, off the top. Nope. Not too shabby. Well, that is a turn three Titan. Assuming no, you know, no more interaction from them. I thought the castle should have been legendary. They're all so good. And there's just no downside to playing a bunch of them, as long as you're playing a bunch of land types. Like Castle uh Castle Lock the Wayne is just unreal good. Garenberg also really good. He's probably should have been legendary. Also makes sense too, right? This is like Castle Garenberg. It's a castle. It's, it's Castle Garenberg. It's not a ca I mean, how many Castle Garenberg are there, you know? They're at 12. Ideally, no Thoughtseize plus Shadow here. That would suck. Alright, I mean... They could have Stubborn Denial, but they can't... doesn't do anything yet. It just gets packed. And you go land titan, right? Yep. One, two, three, four. All right. If they want to force spike it, they can de they can deny us a titan this turn, or we could just get a, a chameleon colossus. Also, it's kind of cool. Okay, so we pay one. The question is, do we get Colossus and do it next turn? Or do we just get, or I mean, I mean uh, Titan do it next turn, or do we just get Chameleon Colossus? Chameleon Colossus is pretty good. And we can just one-shot kill them with the Colossus. I kind of like that. Those they have some way to bounce my Simic Growth Chamber this turn, we uh, we lose the game. But hello,
So they can't deal themselves any more damage. So you can one-shot them for eight. Um, they also can't deal with this, I would assume. Oh god, don't fulminate don't, don't fulmin rage me. Don't you do it. I cannot handle the, uh, the embarrassment. Gurmag Angler. I mean, it can't really attack super well. And we are pretty far off from uh, Field of the Dead. So we're one land away from the double pump to kill them. It's fortunately we can't we can't funnel Garenberg into Garenberg. That is a lot of death shadows. I mean, so next turn we can pump twice and kill them. So they better kill me. We have two big blocks. So we definitely could die for sure, but. Block. I block both shadows. Nope. Mm. Well. Nice, clean, simple game, I guess. This is pump and pump. We're just going for the kill. Is the protection a fun mechanic? I could have Snapcaster Mage. That's true. Just a chump block. Yeah, that was. I mean, I don't know if we have a better play though, because like, we just can't wait. Eventually, they will draw Battle Rage or wait to lower their life total and just kill us with all their, with their many many attackers. Like, we're probably just dead to one dismember, honestly. Because you just get to kill the Grazer, attack for eight, 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 and five. If you block at eight, and we're just dead. So like, attacking. Feels necessary. Yeah, now I think we're just dead. I mean, I don't feel like we made a lot of choices this match, realistically. Uh, we could have gotten Titan over Colossus and waited two turns to cast it. Um, I suppose that was an option. Otherwise, we just didn't really make any decisions and died. It's kind of kind of lame, honestly. Yeah, we're just dead. Hit Battle Rage too. Okay, sure. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Uh, yeah. Not not the most fun. Not, not the most fun. Definitely. I mean, the matchup seems reasonable for us. Uh, their hands were just really really good, and we kind of flooded at the end there. I suppose we're a little, a little soft to the card thought sees. Um, but we have a we're pretty redundant with our packs and our once upon a times also as far as finding threats goes. Um, yeah, I don't know. After that convincing first match, those last two matches really, uh, kind of stinky. No Okos. Yeah, no good. No good. We definitely imagine that match, that match to be good for us. Unfortunately, Shadow does not handle Titan very well. They can't Stubborn Denial it. They can't, uh, 
Can't do a number of things to it. This hand's pretty bad. We can't keep this hand. This is the once upon a time we can keep, but it's just turn five tight with nothing going on. We're gonna mulligan. That is better. That is better. Um. Could ship an island here. We are on the play. We're probably once upon a timing for a land. And like second island's like pretty redundant. We could just ship the tracker and just try and get ourselves to a, a fast titan. Um, obviously I see tracker and I just immediately think about how I want to maximize it. Uh, opponents also mulligan to six. Shipping Tracker is certainly the better goldfish play. Um, for just trying to get a fast Titan. We do have Pact, we do have Ramp Spells. Once upon a time, we could also find us a Ramp Spell or a Castle Garenberg. Yeah, I think in a game one scenario, we're going to ship a Tracker here. I know it's a little weird because we don't have any of the threats. We have this Pact and we have the Ramp. Um, shipping a land just feels irresponsible because we have Explore. Once upon a time finds fetch land, tri builder, or lands. I'm pretty sure it's tri builder. We need to draw lands for explore, but at the same time, like we have a draw step and then draw off explore, and our deck is like basically half lands, so. Search for tomorrow. Okay. Once upon a time. All right. So we just try Welder here. And next turn we can go explore plus once upon a time, probably. Or definitely. All right, so they're playing actual Balakit. We're definitely a dog here because our combo doesn't kill, whereas theirs does. Which is pretty bad for us, honestly. Okay. Explore. A Boreal Grazer. Alright, let's just play this and this. We'll just end step once upon a time, final land, and cast Titan. Um, will Titan be good enough? Maybe not, honestly. Their hand is basically perfect. Turn one search, turn two four seeks, what they're looking for. Jeez. So our base is hoping they have no payoff because right now they got basically everything. So oh, I guess I'll get pretty sweet. All right. Well, Godspeed us, I guess. I think we actually graze this, this Misty in the play. That's kind of cool. Can we? Yes, we can. So make a bunch of green and cast this off the blue and the greens. So we're gonna get, yeah, I mean, they, they just have escape ships where it's dead or Titan. We're going to get, I don't think it really matters. Um, we want to get you get field, and I guess ghost quarter. Get much triggers. Play a boreal grazer. Get much triggers. And hope we don't die, I suppose. Lightning Bolt, my Titan, is a good start. That is definitely a good start for us. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Perfect. That's actually really good for us. They have no payoff. They have all uh, all filler, no killer. Cavern of Souls, sure.
let's name how about pheasant's pretty good rabbit I like rabbit All right, I mean, pretty fortunate uh, they just didn't draw a payoff. I mean, one, this matchup seems horrible for us. Uh, you know, while we're more resilient than they are, they are just faster than us, and their Titans are just better than ours. So let's just try and do that again, I suppose. Our only real, like, sideboardy option here is to, like, bring in Mystical Dispute and try and just, like, punk them out, even though it's, a, it's just, like, a bad mana leak, but... A bad mana leak can actually stop them in some way. Um, I would say Oko doesn't seem very good in this matchup. So I think we just want the literal bad mana leak. Pack Negation also seems good. Uh, Tracker seems terrible. Let's cut an Oko also. Um, yeah, I think it's just as simple as that, honestly. Just want to... Land our Titan, make some zombies, and kill them before they can play their Titan. And uh, we don't really have any way to stop them playing Titan except for one Pact Negation and three Mystical Disputes, which is not terrible. It's not terrible, honestly. Alright, so we have Girl Chamber, Fountain, Field, Pact, Once Upon a Time, Land, Dispute. It's got no ramp, but once upon a time, can make it and find us a Grazer or a Tribelder. We do have the Dispute, too. I'm going to keep. Maybe it's loose, but... Would love a once upon a time. They have Search again. Jeez. That's a miss. That's also a miss. Yikes. Okay, that's really bad. We really wanted to find a uh, Boreal Grazer or a Tribe Elder again. And we have whiffed. Pretty big time. We already have Pact. It's just casting Titan is better. We don't need Cavern, we don't need Island. We don't need other field of the dead. Yeah, all right. In this breeding pool. This is pretty gross. But the eight creature ramp spells in the once upon a time feels pretty uh pretty live usually. Ah, we got lucky. Alright, cool. Alright, so now let's uh play this. We drew a ramp spell, sweet. Play this. Castle Garenberg, also good. All right, so we're gonna growth chamber down. Pick up the Radiant Fountain. And try and, I mean, I would love to build up to, I definitely wanna dispute their Titan, obviously. I mean, no two mana ramp spell, or they had it and didn't have an untapped land. Okay, this is pretty interesting, honestly. We have four mana. Um, I think I like just Field of a Dead Go. Leaves up Dispute and Once Upon a Time. I mean, you can always castle out a uh, Titan next turn. The problem is that, like, castle out Titan next turn, but they can, they can also Titan. We can't counter it. They're going to cast Summoner's Pack this turn? For what? I mean, now we have, we, now we have, a, we have a safety turn. Oh, they have Castle Garenberg. Sure. I guess that changes the math. Well, lucky for us, this game is over. Our Mana League plan is successful. Untap, cast our Titan, and that should probably do it. One, two, three, four, yep. 
So next turn they're paying for Pact. And while we can't actually make zombies this turn, uh, we are in pretty good shape. Let's get uh, Goose Quarter. I guess, I don't know, Teleria West? We can Titan again next turn off of a Summoner's Pact. We have a Misty Rainforest. We can get double field next turn. That's pretty good. All right. Okay, so attack next turn too. We are yeah. We are we are making a, a hundred million billion zombies next turn. The question is, will it be enough? That's kind of the concern. So yeah, we attack and get. Let's see, Titan first. Titan, get field something, attack, get field something, fetch land. Yeah, I mean, unless they can like scape shift combo kill us, I think we're in good shape here. We can even leave up a. Uh, We have Ghost Quarter. Can't leave up a green for one spot. I don't think one spot that matters at all, so. Cast Titan. Search for Field of the Dead and any land that's not Field of the Dead. So, whatever. Any unique land is fine. Blast zone, sure, blast zone. Make a million triggers. We're going to attack with this primal titan. And now we get Field of the Dead and any other land. Just doesn't really matter, I don't think. Uh, Got Misty. For a million more triggers. And I guess we just play Radiant Fountain. The only way they can kill us is burning us out somehow, so I doubt the two lives gonna matter, but we've got lethal next turn, six ways till Sunday, so. Be sweet if we had another uh, mystical dispute here, but all right, sweet. Um, a little fortunate, I think. It seems like a really, really bad matchup for us, but we'll take it. We'll take it. I got a little blue in the sideboard has its uh, benefits for sure. Even a bad mana leak, still a mana leak. All right, so we are two and two. Um. Definitely getting a good look at what this deck's kind of about in that we've gotten cheesed out a few times um, because we're just not insanely fast. Um, so turn three kills, there's not like a ton we can do about it, but we are certainly much more resilient and interactive. Um, we really got to use Oko that much. We just haven't really drawn Oko very often, but oh, there's, there's Oko right there. Oko hurt us. So there's certainly, you know, uh, a level of, like, how interactive is your metagame. This sounds a little loose, but... Our Explorer's not looking very good here, but Oko's pretty good, so... Stomping Ground again? Yikesies. Yikesies. All right, um... We just try Belder. If we draw a land, we could, we could try Belder to explore Oko, which is pretty good. 
on the exploring here is very good. Stopping ground, fiery islet. Interesting. Ren and six. Interesting. Some sort of teamer deck. All right, so we're going for uh, the less populous forest. Untap and draw land. Yes. So let's go explore Oko. Seems pretty good. I mean, we could just like ramp into a Titan, I guess, but they might have counter spells. I don't know what they're doing really. They're like his team or something deck. I think I just like the idea of getting Oko in play, honestly. Um, we're going to fetch, I guess, Forest. Just cast this and see what happens. So explore Field of the Dead. I mean, we could cast Titan next turn. Go Tribelder tapped field here. This is, I guess it's probably just Tribelder tapped field. And if they if they leave Mana Apples, cast Oko. They're trying to play fair. You know, we're going to make land drops and kill them also at the field. We're basically fields on next turn, so that's pretty good. They're going to shoot my tribe elder. Okay. I guess we'll get snow covered forest. What is your uh what's your plan here, my friend? That's an interesting play. Blood Moon. Well, good news and bad news. The bad news is we can't cast Oko Thief of Grounds. The good news is we can cast summoners. I mean, we can cast uh, we can cast Titan and just get Islands and just cast Oko that way. So let's do that. Um, let's get we'll get Forest Island to ensure that we can uh, pay for Pact, and we can just cast Oko next turn. Tracker's cute, but main deck Blood Moon that has also locked them off of Green, which is pretty cool. So we'll get Island and another Forest, just in case. Play Misty Rainforest. Deal with that. I don't think you can. Teamer don't handle 6-6s six very well. That's six point of toughness. Pretty big. Pretty big. Suppose they could like roast ping it, but uh, old Blood Moon. I would like to hear everyone's thoughts on modern versus pioneer, because modern certainly has elements we've kind of just lived with over the years that are pretty annoying. And uh, speaking of a devil, and uh, now there's a different format that's kind of similar. It's interesting to see the uh, the differences. <laughs> So, a pact, attack, get more lands, play Oko. I think we're in pretty good shape here, I'm not going to lie. We have no way to remove Blood Moon from the battlefield, but this is part of the allure of a card like Oko in a deck like this. Pretty good plan B, you know, the best Planeswalker ever printed. We'll kill Ren 6. Yes, please. Look at all these basics. Do love it. They are currently off of green mana thanks to their own blood moon so their blood moon has done more to i guess it, it stopped our field obviously but as far as mana screw goes their blood moon certainly mana screwed them worse than it did us so with eight basics in our deck i'm feeling reasonably good um 
we don't really know what they are exactly. They're like some sort of teamer fair deck. Uh, I don't really think I want anything. Um, like Mystical Dispute might be good. You know, like Dismember might be okay, but I think I'm fine just standing pat here. I like the trackers. If they have counter spells, I have double cavern souls. Like, I think we're feeling pretty fine here. I'm just gonna run it back. You're bring, actually. Let's bring. A, I'm sorry. Let's bring a one, one one reclamation sage. One wreck sage. We gotta cut one car. Let's cut a bajuka bug. Turns pretty bad. Nice sideboarding here. It's really easy. Just board up a bajuka bug every time. We haven't used a number of cards in our sideboard, but it's also kind of matchup. You know how the matches have laid out. Modern's obviously a very weird format where there's just a bajillion decks, so you just don't play against a, a large subsection of decks. You just don't use half your sideboard for, you know, an entire league, but. All right. Double once upon a time. Not as cool, but we have a forest, which is important. I think this is, it's pretty bad, I guess. We have no ramp. Naturally drawing field of it is kind of nice, honestly. And we have Summoner's Pack to get to kill a Blood Moon if we need to. I think this is fine. We get to Once Upon a Time for a Grazer and a, or a Tribe Elder again. I know we keep saying that missing, but I think this is fine. We're just going to keep. Maybe I'm leaning a little too hard on Once Upon a Time. I feel like I've, I've kept basically any hand Once Upon a Time in it, but it is really that good as far as fixing your hand. And then Once Upon a Time is at its absolute best in decks like this, where you're totally fine casting an impulse for a land or a creature. <laughs> Alright. Once Upon a Time. Another Grazer or Growth Chamber. Now, Growth Chamber is a little scary against them. They could have ways to, like, destroy it or bounce it. Don't currently have any blue mana, though. Um... It's also two mana in one. Yeah, all right. I mean, God help us if they storm right us, you know, but. Next turn we have feel plus once upon a time, which is pretty good. I mean, round six is fine. Alright, it's not great, but... I'm going to turn a Scalding Tarn, because I want to get a Forest. Tireless Tracker. I mean, Tireless Tracker is a good magic card. Once upon a time, that almost misses. Wow, that's gross. I mean... Kinda ugly here. Our hand is not fanned out particularly well. Uh, the Grazer was good, but everything else has been pretty rough. Um, I can see cutting a Summoner's Pact or two in these fair matchups now I'm thinking about it more. Um, like, part of me wants to just get the Misty down, so we can just fetch an Island in case they have Blood Moon. But playing a Tap Land is also pretty appealing. I guess, and then actually fetching island kind of sucks. Let's so just put it misty, I guess. They're going to start drawing a lot of cards with Ren and Six and Tyler Striker. That's a many, many, many cards on the way. And again, Growth Chamber has us a little off of our Field of the Deads here. You know, we are now one turn behind in the Field of the Dead race. But, it's okay.
little Oko action here. Blood Moon. Okay. So it complicates things a little bit here. We only have one green and one and one uh one blue. I guess maybe I should have gotten a forest, actually. Because we have this Titan. If I cast it, I end up being in great shape. They might have counter spells too, though. Heh. <laughs> That's really annoying. Well, now I'm getting mega punished for not getting the forest. Um, because we got the forest, you had to play tracker and then got in the clue. That's pretty gross. All right. Good pack for Tribelder also. Obviously paying for it kind of sucks, but I think it's about to, about to ultimate too. Yeah, we're probably in trouble this game. Probably should have mulliganed. Nothing is really appealing. Um, we can't set up Titan for next turn. Getting a Rex Age kind of sucks. They just kill it and just waste the entire turn of tapping it. And they were the blood moon, we just die. Pacting for Tribelder just feels pretty bad. I think we're just saying go. Next turn is Tracker Land, draw a card. And then we just naturally draw a one of our many forests. I believe we have six forests, seven forests. It's six. It's five. Just plus rent six and not get a card back. All right. Well, now you're, they're basically just like teamer jund rather than uh, in black jund. Through the forest, but don't think it matters now that they have ultimate on Brandon Six plus a bunch of attackers. So, me probably should have mulliganed that game. A lot of Blood Moons. We're a little soft on actual answers to Blood Moons. I think this like, this, this sideboard is definitely missing some disenchant effects. Um, we got crushed by Affinity and couldn't do anything. And now these Blood Moons are... They're being annoying. Obviously, game, game always still won, but... So just like blue jund or teamer jund. Bailoth is like a little interesting, but I don't think we want it. I don't know what card I would cut for a bailoth. Like maybe a Boreal Grazer. And then Dismember is kind of interesting, but I think it's fine. I'm going to play. I don't think we need it. Well, this hand looks a little familiar. Um... But this time we have Oko and already have a bounce land. I'm going to keep this hand. We spike the Aboreal Grazer, our hand's insane. And then if we just draw um, like a Tribe Elder, it's fine too. But a Mulligan's 2 6. One spot time. Titan Island. I actually don't mind the Island here at all. We just, now Blood Moon isn't that bad for us. We can cast Oko. We'd love to draw a Ram Spell this turn, but just playing once upon a time isn't the end of the world. Mm, they get it. Oops, sorry. So turn turn three turn three Oko in the play is fine. Once upon a time can look for Ramp, Castle Garenberg. Karma Gizzle. Titan Titan Cavern Land Land. So pretty bad. Probably want the cavern. Uh we're gonna Oko. I suppose I mean Elking Tarmogoyp is not the most exciting. Then it just attacks the 
Tax this goes to two, plus it goes to three. Just make a food, I think. Anytime a waste attacking Oko is pretty good for us, so. Hmm. Interesting. I mean, I think we're just working up to casting Titan. Obviously, we'd love to draw some ramp spells, but so we can just like I mean, main phase once upon a time opens us up, to, opens it up to being countered. We could just hit a tri Elder or an Arboreal Grazer, which would be phenomenal. Yeah, we're just gonna cast the main phase once upon a time. And assuming it misses, we'll probably just play a breeding pool. All right, tribe elder and grazer. That's uh, that's great. I think I like tribe elder better. I think we're gonna play breeding pool too. I want to keep these unique lands going, so. And we're going to make this food into a 3-3. Three, three. And... I guess attack. I don't know what's going on here, honestly. They're not doing much. is kind of concerning, but... It's just a naked Snapcaster Mage? All right. We're past the point of Oko mattering. Oko's done its job. It's distracted our opponent, and we're casting Titan next turn with a Cavern of Souls. So. Once they have Blood Moon this turn, we're about to get some zombies, and zombies play pretty good. They have their own Oko. Sure. Sure. Elk Caster Mage. Let's get a. Uh, I don't think we need any more blue, honestly. We're just gonna forest. Of course, a uniquely named forest. And then we'll just fire away here. I think this might even elicit a concession. Nope. So we have six unique lands. We get field and a seventh land. Seventh land will be probably Telaria West because we have a chamber in our hand already. I guess Blast Zone on two is pretty good also. I don't mind Blast Zone. I don't think it matters that much, honestly. Get a million zombies. Um, just elk up a zombie. And attack Oko, and I'd say our board position is pretty good. They can obviously elk our Titan, but it's done its job. And we have more Titans if we want them, so. Yeah, that's just game. Cool. So, as you can see, I'm glad we got kind of get the spread here. We put against some really unfair decks, and put against some more fair decks. You can see how effective this deck is against the, the more fair strategies. Um, just too many angles coming at once, but we were definitely weak to... Uh, I mean, Affinity has not really been too popular, and those Shadow Draws were pretty wildly good. Uh, but overall, pretty impressive. Um, I think a Cyborg did some work. Uh, don't know if these chokes are necessary. Like, I get the idea of wanting to really beat the Simic Urza deck, but they just don't seem very necessary. Um, we need some more interaction um, for Artifacts and Enchantments in particular. Um, only one way to remove a Blood Moon. Nothing to do against Affinity. Or other artifacty decks like that. Um, Shadow. I think Shadow's probably still a fine matchup. Death Shadow decks tend to struggle with Titan decks on average because they just don't have a good way to counter for Titan because Stubborn Denial doesn't really do very much. And uh, 
they also have Cavernous Souls too, and they can't really beat Field of the Dead in a long game, and they're very reliant on Team Battle Rage, and Oko is pretty good against them, so I would think that Chad would be a good matchup, but um, didn't play out like that, obviously, but their their best hands beat everyone, kind of, so. But yeah, deck's super sweet. Castle of Ironburg's really good. Wouldn't mind a Field of, uh, field of Ruin somewhere in the mana base. Um, otherwise, the main deck feels great. Our trackers never really came into play. I do love Tower's Tracker, and it does seem to fit pretty well in the deck. But it does feel like we're already pretty good in those fair matchups. Um, if Tracker was a card that was good against unfair decks in some way, that would be pretty cool to have a card that was effective uh, in the spots where we're not great. I don't know what that card would be. You'd probably want it to be a creature. Honestly, maybe like Courser of Crucifix. I don't love Courser, but Courser is good at staying alive and good against faster decks. That could be a possibility. Um, I'm not sure. There's definitely a few options, but definitely a really cool new deck. Definitely very powerful. Um, and modern's definitely modern sometimes. So 3-2, your usual modern record. Just another 3-2. You know, is what it is. So... Thanks so much for watching. I appreciate it very, very much. I am Jim Davis, of course, for CoolStuffInc.com. If you haven't been to the main website yet, of course, there is a written article that is, goes along with this uh, video. As always, I do a video Monday, article Friday. Check out the written article on CoolStuffInc.com. Check out last Friday's article where I put Oko in every modern deck ever. Affinity. Goblins. Tron. You name it. It's there. And uh, that's a lot of fun. So... Video Monday, article Friday, and uh, of course use promo code JIM5 for 5% off your order on CoolStuffInc.com. It's card games, board games, miniatures, it's all on there. One of the best game stores on the internet for many, many, many years. We're talking like when I first started playing Magic in high school, like 20 years ago, I looked cards up on CoolStuffInc.com. So check them out, CoolStuffInc.com. Thanks for watching. I'm Jim Davis. I'll see you guys next week. Is it next year? I'll see you all next year. <laughs> Please don't unsubscribe. Thanks for watching, everyone.